still happy that you're here. Um, our talk, all your packets are belong to us. Um, it's about attacking backbone technologies. My partner Daniel and I, Roger, will present you some um, interesting stuff. Maybe you have heard about it, all about the media um, attention. Um, it's about trust model, trust in the backbones, backbone technologies, and uh, we show you also some uh, tools. We show you some demonstration. We have a little lab here, and hope everything will work fine. Thank you. So, um, a short slide about who we are. Um, we're some kind of old school networking geeks, um, filling around with network stuff for a couple of years now. Um, we're working for a Germany-based security company called ERNW, and so we have a lot of fun um, playing with baseband protocols and doing some backbone stuff and yeah, breaking things. That's what it's all about. Of course. Okay, um, let's have a look at, a, at the agenda first. We will have some short in introduction to the talk and make clear what are the dimensions of this talk. After that, we got two big topics, which are um, BGP and MPLS. Um, we will show the trust model behind these protocols and we will show you some cool demos, um, some new tools to break these trust models. After that we got uh, another topic which is carrier ethernet. Um, we actually don't got a demo for carrier ethernet because this that would expand our lab um, too much. So we got three big Cisco's to carry it. I think it's enough. Yeah, okay. otherwise, otherwise we have to bring a, a huge truck to bring all the <laughs> devices here. I think these are enough. Okay, so um, in the end we got uh, a summary and some outlook. Um, just to make the talk round. Okay, the dimension of this talk is we want just to um, show you how some really cool technologies work and um, we're sure this is not some kind of esoteric shit. If you think something else, um, please throw things at us. We will recognize this. Um, and we want to entertain you too. This is why we build in the bingo stuff you will see on the next slide and um, we will have a lot of demos just to entertain you to show you some um, real hacking going on and yeah, you will see in the meat sections. It's all about meat. <laughs> yeah. So um, some of you might know this um, security ex uh, excuse bingo which is um, cool stuff. If you don't know it, take a look at it. Um, we just get this one and break it into little pieces, which we'll come back later in the talk on, so um, it's just to make some fun of this thing. Yeah, I think everyone has heard about such words like, nobody will ever try to do this, or that's yeah. not possible. Um, uh, maybe yeah. it is. Okay. So, so um, the first thing uh, Ari mentioned is uh, about BGP. What is BGP? Um, BGP is used to um, to bring the internet together. I think 99% uh, of all the internet protocol is based on BGP. BGP is currently used at version 4. Um, I think uh, the best RFC is 4271 and uh, it all describes how BGP works. So BGP is used to fix, to glue the internet together. Everything, every provider um, using the internet infrastructure communicates via BGP. Um, so BGP has an interesting trust model, um, which will be uh, focused some slides later. And um, it was a debate last year uh, when we saw uh, see some, some interesting um, presentation at uh, PH Neutral, which was a um, private um, party, I say, and also at a DEF CON where the media attention was really big about, um, where some guys showed how to um, manipulate the BGP information in the internet to get some traffic redirection. So how works it? How does BGP work? BGP speakers, so-called peers, um, try to bring some relationship between uh, each others, and they have some neighbor peers. 
um, the BGP relies uh, over TCP, so you don't have uh, such things like multi-casting, like in OSPF, where all the routers saying, oh, hello, I am a router, um, is there some other router? I have some information about this network and this information. Um, that's not what BGP is doing. BGP is used by manual configuration, so every router in the internet has to be um, configured manually by some administrator or some operator. So it's not really easy to spoof the information at the BGP um, transmission because um, normally you do, you do not really see some information about BGP like this hello stuff. So if all the network is set up, so there are a lot of BGP um, peers communicating with each, with each other, um, there's a so-called network layer reachability um, information, um, which um, gives you some some um, information that the BGP router says, okay, if you want to reach some AS, some autonomous system, or some network, um, I know where this information have to go through. So this is uh, what they're doing after the peers are communicating with each other. And uh, this information is used to build the path over the Ethernet to the destination. So the trust model, as I, we said, um, it's all about trust. It's not about hacking MPLS from the outside of the world. It's about trust. Um, the trust model behind BGP is that you have um, a couple of routers set up in the Internet and the administrator says, okay, I trust the other administrator from another uh, country or from another um, provider, and every administrator have to set up the, the, the peer, the BGP peer manual. So the intra, there is an intra-operator trust by humans. And uh, if this trust is misused by some kind of manipulating, um, you have big problems maybe, like uh, in the in the 90s, where is the call, so called AS7007 incident, where uh, three fourths of the internet was down, or like uh, the YouTube incident, where some Pakistani um, routing information reached the, the, the router which are communicating to the world and they said, oh, if you want to reach the network where YouTube is in, come to Pakistan and all the information in the, I think in, in one third of the world who want to, re to, to reach or to look some, some so watch some videos over to YouTube are going to Pakistan. So and this was 2008, it's what was not uh, in the 90s, so this is our actual or recent problems uh, which we are fighting with. So it's all about trust and nobody knows is the other administrator trustfully. So, as I said, the, the media intention about uh, manip manipulating BGP was at DEF CON last year. So, what security mechanisms do we have to secure BGP? Um, you can use MD5 signature for integrity checking, but MD5 is not inside of the BGP protocol. It's used only to have some um, authentication about the peers. So you only use MD5 for um, proving that the peer you're speaking with is the right one. And uh, now you were made uh, thinking, oh, MD5, it's broken. Um, at the uh, 25th um, Chaos Computer um, Congress, they showed how to manipulate um, all the certification manipulating, and um, still the attack is really, really difficult if you're on a network, on a um, provider network where some BGP information are going over the net. And um, also there are some um, people on the internet um, and they are trying to bring some more security to BGP, so they are actually working on it. And uh, the MD5 key security is often used 
by career best practices and uh, 